this video we are going to learn 5 different speed ramping techniques using a new user interface in DaVinci Resolve 20.1. The result will be smooth, catchy edit in the end. Boomerang technique. Let's start with boomerang. First of all, I would recommend to switch real-time process to optical flow for smoother result, especially if your video was shot on 60 or less frames per second. All of my videos in this tutorial were shot on iPhone 16 with 60 frames per second. Before we start applying speed ramps, we need to track our footage to get a lock camera effect. Select your clip and go to Fusion page. Select media in one node, shift space bar and type tracker. Drag the crossed square to the visible spot you want to lock on, in my case it is letter M. Change adaptive mode to best match and click on track. Now open operation window and change operation to match move and merge to BG only. You can see that we have checkerboard screen, so we need to zoom our image. Select tracker node and add transform node. Increase size to eliminate checkerboard. Looking good. Go back to edit page and we have smooth footage after tracking. Now we can start the plan speed ramp. Press command R to change speed and you can see by these blue arrows that I have reversed this footage previously. Imagine which part of the clip you want to speed up and add a speed point. In my case I will speed up this left side of the clip. Drag the upper handle to the left to desired speed. Now open new keyframe tab, make it a little bigger so you can clearly see it. And now in new version of DaVinci Resolve, you can adjust the time curves right below our clip in the timeline, which is much easier than it was before. Right click on the speed point and choose ease in and out. You can drag the sliders to smooth curve from both sides, or you can hold shift and drag each side individually. In this case, I just drag both sliders. I'm gonna drag this point closer to the left to speed it up even more. And change the second part speed to 50%, so it stops gradually. Now we need to apply a boomerang effect so the clip starts to play backwards. And to do that, choose the place where you want to start backward motion and add a speed point. Step on the part which you want to change direction, go to speed change parameters in the inspector window and click on these highlighted arrows. And now you can see that we have applied different direction by looking at these arrows which are displayed here. Now drag the upper edge of the clip to change speed. And drag the lower edge to extend the clip. As you can see we cannot ease this point. And that's because it doesn't have enough space to apply easing. Drag the slower handle to change speed point position. And boom, now it works. Drag the speed point further so you can smooth it even more. Like so. You can drag the point to the place where it was before. And let's see the result. Fly through technique. Let's add a second clip that we want to fly the headlights through. Go to Fusion page to add a tracker. Choose the point that you want to track to. Change adaptive mode to best match and click on track. Open operation window and choose operation to match move and merge to BG only. Shift space bar and apply transform effect. Zoom your footage in so you don't see a checkerboard and I'm gonna animate size in position to replicate the flyout effect from the headlight. Go to the first frame, zoom into the headlight so it covers entire screen. Change position as well and add points. Drag the playhead to the last frame and zoom out to the point where you almost start to see the checkerboard. Go back to edit page. Now let's apply speed ramping. Command R and add a speed point. Drag the upper slider to the left to speed it up. Open keyframe tab and ease your keyframes. I'm gonna drag the slider all the way up. And change speed of the second half to 50%, so it has a nice gradual stop. Now let's duplicate this clip, trim it so you don't have to track entire clip and go to fusion page. Apply a magic mask or polygon tool if you have a free version. 
Select the headlight with the dropper, choose mode to better and hit track. And when it's done, open matte window and enable invert matte checkbox. So instead of a headlight, we have a huge hole that we can fly through in our edit. Align it with the first clip. I think I need to slow down this part a little. Ok, now we need to animate this headlight so it closes when we will fly out from it. So duplicate this clip, go to fusion page again and disable invert matte checkbox. Go back to edit page, step on the last frame of this clip, set keyframe on position, hover play head closer to the start and increase X value so the headlight is moving to the right. Ease keyframes using the new keyframe tab. Now you can enable our original clip, trim it to the right, open effects window and apply drop shadow effect. Change parameters to your liking. Copy this drop shadow effect and paste it to the bottom clip. I will adjust speed a little. Reveal technique. This is our next clip and we need to track it first. Go to fusion page, select media and one node and add tracker node. Choose the point that you want to track to, select best match mode and hit track. Open operation window and choose match move and merge to BG only. Now add transform node to zoom in our clip so we don't see the checkerboard. And you can also change position so your tracking point is in the center of the screen. And I will change the angle as well. Now go back to edit page and we have a nicely tracked footage. Let's change speed of this clip. We will make the reveal effect by revealing the headlight first and then the rest of the car. Let's add a speed point where we will start to speed it up and second point where it will slow down. Now drag the upper slider to increase speed to around 400%, open new keyframe tab to ease keyframes, right click to ease keyframes, drag sliders to create a smooth spline lines, Let's change speed of our first half to 50% so we have more room for our reveal effect. Duplicate this clip, trim it to the left where you want to end reveal effect and go to fusion page. Select transform node and add magic mask. Select mode to better and hit track. Go back to edit page to see what we have. Extend the previous clip at the bottom and trim our new clip like this. So we can apply one transition to the top clip and another to the bottom one. Open effects window, video transitions and tap smooth cut. Drag it onto our top clip, make it a little longer and choose ease to in and out. Now we need to apply a camera shake transition to our bottom clips. Go to video transitions, type camera shake and drag it in between two clips. Set all refraction values to zero and let's see the result. Orbit technique. This one is pretty easy. This is our next car. We need to track it in Fusion page. Apply tracker node, choose tracking point, change adaptive mode to best match and hit track. Go to operation window, change mode to match move and merge to BG only. Now we need to eliminate the checkerboard. To do that apply transform node, zoom in and you can change position if needed. Ok, that's done. Now we can apply speed ramp. Add the speed point and drag upper slider to the left to speed up this left part of the clip to around 600% and change speed of the right part to 50%. Open keyframe tab to use speed point and I will play around with speed. Now drag this clip on top of the previous one to create this match cut transition. And to make this transition a bit cooler, go to effects window, 
video transitions and apply noise dissolve transition on top of our clip. By the way, I made a tutorial about top 8 free transitions in DaVinci Resolve. You can tap it in the upper right corner or use a link in the description below. Change type to Uni and let's play it back. Ok, I am gonna make it a little shorter and increase some animation value. Let's add another clip with the car that has the same motion and we will also apply a boomerang technique here. I will skip the step with tracking and zooming in like we did in the previous example. Let's create a boomerang effect in the previous car so it will match with our new clip. Add a speed point, go to speed change settings and change direction. Now increase speed of the right part of the clip and ease a keyframe and keyframe tab. Let's give it some more space to ease this keyframe. And drag the right slider by holding the shift key. Ok, now we are back with our new clip, where you can also apply speed ramp and match the last clip that we did before. Open Retime Edit, add speed point, drag upper slider to the left to increase speed and ease keyframe using a new keyframe tab. And now we have a nice smooth transition. Push-pull technique. In this example we don't have a stable tracking point, so we will apply a regular stabilization using the inspector window. Open Retime Editor and add the speed points. Use keyframe tab to ease your keyframes. You can play around with speed points and get the result you want. And we have this nice speed ramping using the three speed points. Let's duplicate this clip to apply a magic mask or polygon tool if you have a free version of DaVinci Resolve. Select the middle part of the rim and track it. Now trim your clips the way that you have only the parts of the clips that we need and try to match it with the previous shot, so you have a smooth motion transition. Go to effects window, video transitions and apply block glitch. Make it very short so it's almost invisible but you can still see it. Or try any other transition that you like. Cool, now we can apply a boomerang technique here. Add speed point, change speed direction in the inspector window. Increase the speed by dragging the upper handle. And repeat the step a couple of times. And don't forget to use your keyframes. Let's see the result. And the last clip is going to be a fly out effect from the wheel just using the match cut and speed ramping. Open the time window, add speed point and increase speed to around 700%. Ease keyframes with new keyframe tab. Stabilize your footage. And place this clip on top of the previous one so it creates a nice transition. Cool, as you can see this new keyframe tab is really great and useful when it comes to speed ramping. 
hope you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps to grow the channel and I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.